What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back up another video for you guys today. So listen, I was requested to check out this video. It's called Top 10 Worst TV Shows of All Time. Now look, we've all been there and we've all seen a not so good TV show every once in a while. You visit the actors, uh, the whole script of it all and you know, just, or it could be all of it. So, you know, just because, you know, some people are in Hollywood, that don't mean you necessarily good. So, but anyway, let's check out this video, shall we? In about three, two, one. Hey, honey, I'm home. <laughs> Boy, there is sure some terrible they had a television Hitler in the TV world. show. I'm about to meet another wedding planner. Okay. And this one's gonna be good. He's gay. <laughs> I thought two broke girls was funny. Sophie Kachensky. Yes. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst shows. This is me, hey, Nicole Bradford. Cute, huh? My this two my dads, dad. I've heard and of that. And this is my dad. How'd I get two dads? They inherited me. Congratulations! For this list, we'll be scouring TV's lengthy history what? in search of the programs that are universally viewed as lacking in quality. However, we're leaving out reality shows yeah, such as really Jersey Shore. They brought that shit back too. And we're choosing those series you're supposed to made you it past the pilot bitch. and lasted longer than you would have expected. You are so Some of y'all men think y'all really you something. Y'all hit a woman. And you don't give anyone I worked there for it's seven it. years, Rob. Yeah. I got you know, it every day. I ain't gonna lie though. I used to watch some of these, the Kardashians when I was younger. That means we're excluding series like the Charlie's Angels reboot. We were hoping you would drop in on the celebration, Charlie. They had a show? No, I'm good. I watched the TV. You must be real mad at me, honey. I'm a very, very bad Hitler. And work it. I'm just so. I never even heard of this show. Oh, a typical man wearing. Number ten. Dressed up Homeboys like a in outer space. But like two oh, soldiers God. of fortune, Morris Clay and Tiberius Walker had merged. I never heard of this show. Somewhere down the line, poor execution got in the way of interesting themes. Comedians Flex and Daryl Bell starred in this sitcom about a pair of 23rd century astronauts traveling the universe in their winged car. Hey, hit that right. Seemingly intended as a parody or homage to earlier well, science fiction shows, Homeboys in Outer Space was hit with low oh, ratings wow. and criticism of its quality, spaceship. even being protested by the NAACP. I will rock your universe. Oh. <laughs> Roles performed by the likes of okay. James Dewan and cameos by George Takei couldn't help this short-lived program. There's no such thing as Galendium, but there is such a thing. As jacking your shit. Number nine, Manimal. Oh God, these damn effects he back in the day was garbage. The secrets that divide men look from how animal, slow it looks. Not so much a They did way better than that on if damn Thriller. Do that. Some might call it a very great gift. Like Thriller scared the shit out of me. That that was Manimal, not even scary. Which aired he just on stood NBC, there. Briefly chronicled the adventures of Dr. Jonathan Chase, a wealthy young like, man get with here. the power to shapeshift into any Ew. animal. Okay, that just looks creepy. Chase used Look at that, y'all got Simba looking crime, like what the hell? Working with Detective Brooke McKenzie to solve a number of cases. As soon as I get down from here, you're all dead. Where are you hiding, Jack Slocum? I'll hang your lie right before I tell you where he is. Though it certainly had a unique What's premise and shirt? special effects work by Stan Winston, the show struggled in its viewership and came to a oh, close by its eighth so episode. <laughs> Number eight, fuck? Baywatch Nights. Oh. oh shit. Damn, we're good. When something becomes popular, naturally there must be a spin-off for it. At least we imagine that's the thinking behind Baywatch Nights, an offshoot of the show Baywatch. David Hasselhoff and Gregory Allen Williams I reprise their him. roles <laughs> as Mitch Buchanan. When someone yells help, I jump in with both feet. And Garner Ellerby, respectively. How does this devil phone work? With the duo operating as private detectives. Mitch, Mitch, what the hell's going on, man? What, what, what the hell is going on? All well and good, except the show suddenly shifted from detective stories to science fiction for season two, a change intended to boost struggling ratings. Yikes. Lacking the staying power of the original show, Baywatch Nights soon met its end. I just want to help. It's the best really? Day. Yeah. 
Then help yourself. No! Oh. Number seven. The that was High so Fructose dramatic. Adventures of Annoying That was orange. a show. It might you be can't telling be that the lead right character now. has the word annoying in its name. I have to tell her how I feel, can't take it anymore. Based on a popular YouTube series, The High Fructose Adventures of Annoying Orange follows the titular Orange and his sentient fruit friends in their everyday lives. So this was at like the low budget version of Sausage Party or something? While it managed oh to average 2.5 million viewers in its first two weeks, the show was critically panned for its crude humor and obnoxious nature. Oh, I get it. You guys all think you're above me. You shouldn't be so high and mighty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the pit. After two seasons and 60 episodes, the Cartoon Network elected to cancel it. I can't watch. A decision we imagine was widely accepted. So then I said, when life gives you lemons, throw them away and get oranges instead. <laughs> Number six, The Cleveland Show. So Man, I fuck y'all. I like The Cleveland Show. Well, no. My happy mustache mustache face. This, this is, is The Cleveland show. show. Despite featuring new friends and old friends alike, this spinoff of Family Guy funny. didn't quite hit the mark. Are we recycling these or what? I don't care. Do whatever you want. The I was Cleveland gonna ask show why, revolves but around I ain't Cleveland go Brown, there. his new wife Donna, and their mixed family. Well, if we ain't the Black Brady Bunch. Except I'm not a gay architect, and my wife's not sleeping with my son. Relying on cutaway gags and pop culture Whoa. references similar to Family Guy, the show divided critics as to its quality and came across as unnecessary to some. Donna, you want to show her your weird stretch? But I mean, is not Family Guy <laughs> necessary to? Just kidding. No one wants to see that. Still, it These endured for four seasons before so being canceled in 2013. I always thought I had Damn. a God-given talent, Donna. I'm a fartiste. We get you farting too, and we'll be unbeatable. I thought Number it was Number five, funny. Galactica 1980. You're about to be the first children from the stars to set foot on the planet Earth. <laughs> Never heard Ten of episodes shoot. of disappointment and missed Ooh. opportunities, as it were. Galactica 1980 wow. was the result of a largely unprecedented write-in campaign after the 1978 science fiction show Battlestar Galactica was canceled by ABC. It smells like a crap. It feels like a crap. I believe it is a crap. Reconsidering their decision, ABC ordered a pilot for a sequel series, one that would pick up 30 years after the original show's final Damn. episode. Ready? 30 years. Ready. This is where we get off. Yeah, this ain't no off-ramp, dude. Surprise! Unfortunately, what came to small screens was less than stellar. Galactica Ooh. 1980 was largely set on Earth in the 1980s. Much of the original cast was absent, and a planned focus on time travel was scrapped after the pilot. Truly a shame. I am disappointed. Even a robot said he was disappointed. Number four, Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation. Yeah, they had them looking ugly as hell, but... One of the Ninja Turtle fans out there. As the first live action like TV the series too, so in the Teenage down. Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise, this certainly stands out, though not in the best of ways. Total Turtlefication! <laughs> yeah, it's green time! Okay, Turtles, shows up! The next mutation was built on an interesting premise. The four turtles are joined by a mystical female turtle, Venus de Milo, oh. in their quest to battle warriors known as the Rank. Really Not is. everything is science, Donatello. You need to open up that digital brain of yours to the supernatural. However, the show soon fell victim to backlash and criticism, with fans of the franchise feeling classic characters were being disregarded. And there is a new way, our way. The way of the turtle. Green time! It also didn't help that the price per episode was so high, given the use of Damn. animatronics for many characters. Hey, lame brains! You know those pretty little bug brooches you're wearing? <laughs> Psych! They're total baloney! <laughs> Number three, The Amazing Spider Man. Oh, this is the old ass. There are a lot of things Spider-Man can do, but this was not one of them. 
spanning 13 episodes. The Amazing Spider-Man began simply as a TV movie, establishing university well, student Peter Spider Parker for as so the long. titular superpowered crime fighter. Will you please pour the young man a cup of tea? It then got picked up for a limited five-episode order and was drastically changed in season two, introducing more stories grounded wow, in reality and long toning way. down Parker's powers to appeal Suits to an adult audience. We can't honestly say it worked, however, especially given that the show was canceled soon after the second season ended. <laughs> Number two, Fred the Show. Hey guys, good thing you're oh, here. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Fred. This shirt or this one? What works on YouTube doesn't always translate well to television. Case in point. Fred the Show, based on a web series by Lucas Cruikshank, right. follows hyperactive teenager Fred Figglehorn I saw the movie. in his daily life and adventures with friends. Yeah, look at this. We're having fun. What happened to Fred? Father of so many animals. What makes the show unique, while also working to its detriment, is Fred himself, with his obnoxious and unreal behavior. I think oh, yeah. I'm going to die! Oh no, I am going to die! Critics were quick and to John divide Cena the show and Fred's part in it, with viewership dropping as the first season continued. And up next, we have Fred Figglehorn! Who's excited? Yeah, me neither. Ooh. Eventually, the end had to come for Fred. Why are you so bananas? I mean, you're always freaking out over nothing. You're so proud of your little adorable voice, and you're always sticking your nose in things that aren't your business. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. R. Kelly, get out of the closet. We're going out. I thought you had to work on your dissertation. Forget it. I'm out of the zone. Plus, you know, I never heard Wikipedia's that. Wikipedia's under construction. It's like they don't even know that their contracts are about to expire. Our contracts are about to expire? October 31st. October 31st? You fire people on Halloween? I felt like the holiday was getting a little watered down. Take care! Back. Was that Kelly from the game? Quit it. I think it was. I can't tell. I hate dancing. Listen to me, Nikki. Stop it. No. Listen to me. You are not mom. You have no say in anything that I do. No, you don't care about me. You them. understand? Stop, stop, it. It. Stop, stop it. Do it then. Okay. Go ahead. Pull the trigger. That's all you can do, isn't it? Give orders to kill. Number one, my mother, the car. What? That's my mother, dear. She helps me through everything I do, and I'm so glad she's here. Equal parts bizarre and poorly constructed. Nothing feels quite as unsuccessful the as this fantasy sitcom. Though. My mother, the car. My mother, the car. The premise is simple enough. Attorney David Crabtree buys a used 1928 Porter touring car, only to discover it is the reincarnation of his dead mother, Gladys. Wow, oh, did you hear that? Well, that's twisted. Me on Coast to Coast TV. How about that? Davy, you better get me to Doc Benson's garage right away. From there, it's a series of misadventures where Crabtree guards his mother car from the persistent collector, Captain Manzini. I must have this car, and I will have it, crab meat. And that's Crabtree. Whatever! Critics and viewers alike panned the show. And we understand. Okay, Mom, you all set? Let's go, son. The series' entire concept comes across as alienating and more than a little illogical. Davey, you all right? I think you stopped a little bit short of the mark, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I could see why some of these shows were... Hold on. Yeah, I could see why some of these shows didn't pick up after one or two seasons, because some of this shit was straight trash. I don't know what the hell most of this shit was. Like that caveman shit, I don't know what the fuck that was. Never heard of it, but I could clearly see why. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Okay, comment below what's some of the most trash TV shows y'all have seen. And listen, y'all ain't finna shade the Cleveland show like that, all right? I enjoyed it, okay? I enjoyed it, I laughed, I chuckled, I giggled. Especially the damn Thanksgiving episode. With what's her name? I think her name is uh, Kim Whitley. She played the auntie or something. And she was like, 
Well, I can tell you one thing. I can't do it with the lights on. So I thought that episode was funny and other episodes as well. And I mean, like, talking about them, the show was unnecessary, but I mean, Family Guy was like, they do a lot of crazy shit on there. That's where they come from, the Cle- Cleveland Brown, the rest of them, but whatever. But anyway, like I said, let me know what's one of the most trashiest TV shows you guys have seen, old or new. Let me know if there's anything I can react to for you guys next, okay? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow my Instagram, all right? Send me some reaction requests there and hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in a minute. Taylor Rain, I'm out this thing.